Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. In this video, we're gonna learn how to play the song Build My Life on electric guitar. I'm gonna show you basically the parts from the Passion version. Uh, I know there are a lot of versions of this song out there. It's an extremely popular song. It's been out for a while, but I looked today as of January, 2022. If you go to add a new song on Planning Center, Build My Life is number two. Uh, of all of them. So this song is really popular, lots of staying power. So if you haven't learned how to play it, this is a good one because it's not very difficult to play. Uh, but there are some really great concepts that you can learn in this song uh, to play these parts. So this is in the key of G, 70 BPM. Uh, a quick rundown of the gear that I'm using in this video. Uh, and what you might need to play this song. First of all, if you uh, hit the links below, you can see all of our resources for this song, playthroughs, acoustic and electric, acoustic guitar tutorial, um, patches for whatever platform you might be using as far as digital modeling goes. Today I'm using the Axe FX 3. This is a Gretsch Player's Edition Jet DS. DS means Dynasonic for these Dynasonic pickups. Uh, but really what you're gonna need is, if you have a Vox type amp, that would be great, but any amp that you got, set it kind of on the edge of breakup. You're gonna need maybe two kind of overdrive stages so you can hit a little bit of drive and then bigger drive. Uh, dotted eighth delay pretty much will get you there. And then a big modulated reverb. That's pretty much all you need. So I'm gonna break this song into sections. I will teach how to play that part. I'll talk about the tone and then I'll demonstrate it. The, the whole first verse, uh, really, intro in the first verse is swells. So um, you can just, it's really G to C is all it really does. So. It's pretty much, pretty much it. Um, so you can use different shapes. You can just swell on these open G chord, C chords here. You can use this shape. And I'll teach you these here in a little bit, or you can kind of come up here and do that if you want. You can play this G here to the C. Um, really any kind of way you go around G to C, one to four, uh, to swell in, uh, will get the job done for this first part. Uh, you're just adding ambience. And uh, for this one, I'm just using a bunch of reverb and delay, pretty much turn them all uh, to your biggest settings, and it sounds like this. Moving on, let's talk about the first chorus. Now, in the first and the second chorus both, uh, you're just kind of be playing like rhythm chords and you just kind of strum and hold and they're actually just the open chords from the song. So first would be a C, and I just play it like this open C major. Holy, there is no one A minor like you. Just regular old A minor. There is no one G, none be G side you open up my E minor, eyes, and wonder. And that's it, just C, A minor, G, E minor. This is gonna be an easy one for you on electric guitar. If you're just kind of making a transition from acoustic to electric, this is a great song to, to do because there's a lead part coming up that's really a pretty easy part, um, but you can practice kind of moving into that stuff. And then there are some other shapes. When we get to the, the bigger chorus at the end, there are different shapes that we're gonna play to play these same chords. So it'll be good to learn those as well. All right, for the tone on this song, basically what I've got is a king of tone or just like a kind of a lighter overdrive on into a, uh, looks like a dotted eighth note delay and like a cloud type of a reverb. All right, I, I lied to you. And this patch is a Timmy, but you know, stage one drive. All right, sounds like this uh, into the chorus two. Three, four. And then you just repeat those parts. 
All right, so when you hit verse two, there are a few different things you can do. Uh, every verse, or like both verses in this song are like double verses. Um, they, they play a part, or they, they do a verse, and then they kind of repeat it. Um, so the first part of the double verse, uh, really you're just gonna kind of pick through these chords. So it's G, uh, Jesus the name, C, then a G over B, to C. There's really uh, one part that you really hear in the record is that like you hear that part coming out of like at the end of the verse. So that's when you're on the G over B to C. And then what you do to get that is that's all it is, right? So when you're coming out of that to three, you're gonna pluck the open G string to the uh, D string. And the D string, you're, when you play the C chord, right, your middle finger is on the second fret of the D, the G is open. And so you're gonna pull off with your middle finger from the second fret to the open string on the D. Right, that's it. So you can just kind of practice that. Okay, so that's really that one thing that you hear there in the, the first half of that second verse. And then what, uh, what you hear in the second half is it kind of switch to a different position. And you hear this, right? Um, so to play that, uh, what you're gonna do is you're basically forming uh, you're using this shape to get a G chord, but you're forming like what looks like a D chord down here, up here on the seventh and eighth frets. So bar your middle finger on the seventh fret on the D or G, B, and E strings, and then use your middle finger to form what looks like a D chord on the, uh, so you put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the B string, if you play those three strings, that forms a G chord, part of a G chord. You have to make this C shape to get the rest of it, right? Uh, it's basically the top half of a, a C shape here. Okay, so that's your basically your G shape up here. So to play that part, you go the seventh fret of the G string to the eighth fret on the B string, which is just the shape that you've made, to the 10th fret, of the B string up to the seventh fret of the E. So it goes like this, I'm gonna play it slow. Two, three. And then you can, it moves to a C chord. And so that shape would be, basically you keep that bar here uh, on the seventh fret, but you put your pinky on the 10th fret of the B and the E. That forms like a C chord, that's like, Right there. So uh, again, the first part of that G chord, and then you play that C shape, okay? So that's really all it is. All right, so I'm gonna play that really slow for you. So this is the second half of that second verse. Two, three. Two, three. Three, four. That's really all you're doing right there. It's a very simple part, but it just uses those two alternate shapes for G and C, okay? Now tone-wise on this, this is kind of an ambient clean tone. So um, again, dotted eighth delay, basically it's the same as that chorus tone, I just took the drive off. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to play the first half, you're just kind of picking through those chords, then I'm going to move up to that other shape for the second half. And what I hear on the album is a uh, bridge pickup in the first half and then moving into like a neck pickup sound. If you want, for that second part, you can kick on an overdrive and it might give you just a little more something something uh, in that second part. A light overdrive, not a big overdrive. Okay, so here's that verse part, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so what I did just there was that would be out of the second verse into the chorus. It's the same thing as the first chorus. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up. Okay, so you play that the same way, same tone as well. Just a little bit of drive with uh, delay and reverb. Then you get to um, the instrumental section or the riff. And so uh, that part goes like this. It starts on the open G string and it just walks up the scale. So I, I like to do it all on the G string because you kind of get that sliding sound. So it's open, open, two, four, seven. That's it on the frets. Open, two, four, seven, open, two, four, seven, nine, seven, four, two. I'll slow it down. A firm foundation. Okay, so really simple. Open, two, four, seven. Open, two, four, seven. Open, two, four, seven. Nine, seven, four, two. Goes up, down, up, down. All right, pretty simple. Uh, you can also play it, um, if you want to play it, kind of keep your hand in the same position. Open, two, open on the B string, third fret. So it's kind of like the, the notes that you would play with a D chord. But I hear the slide happen on the album, so I suspect he might do that, or he might slide and play the last note here on the B string. Really is just whatever works best for you, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. So it does that quite a bit in the song. Um, it happens all through the instrumental, all through the bridge, and it's just kind of various levels of gain that you're using. So what I like to do for the first bit of it, the instrumental in the first part of the bridge, go to like a neck or a middle position, use that, that first stage drive again, and I like a dual delay um, on this, do, 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 like a dotted eighth and a quarter note, and then a cloud reverb again, big verb, um, and it sounds like this in the beginning. <laughs> Okay, once the, the bridge kind of picks up, uh, I like to flip to the bridge pickup just to give it a little more bite. So that would sound like this. And then when the bridge really picks up, so you kind of have three different kind of cascades here. Um, I go to a different uh, sound and it just turns on more drive. Uh, so for this one, I'm using that Timmy and like an 808 and the reverb and delay stays the same. I'll go from one to the other so you can hear it. So here's that kind of first drive sound into the bigger one. <laughs> So now we get into like the bigger chorus and I said there were some different shapes that I would show you to play this part. So the chords are going to be the same. Uh, it's holy, C, A minor, G, E minor. That's all we're playing. So here's what I hear on the album when it comes to those parts. So the same way that we played this G shape here, looked like a D chord, remember, on the 7th and 8th frets. If you go all the way up to the 12th fret, if you think about a C chord, right? Like it makes a D shape with the, the nut here, the zero fret and the first fret. If we do that all the way an octave up, if you think about it, that's just this top part of, of the C chord all the way up here, right? If you would play it 
It's hard to play a bar chord C shape, open C major shape like that, but that's what this is. So there's a C chord. So it'd be the 12th fret on the, the G and the E strings and the uh, 13th fret on the B. So that's C, there is no one. Now A minor is really easy. It's just, uh, if you think about this A minor bar chord right here, so you're barring across the fifth fret, and then you play like an E minor shape underneath that. Really all you need are the top three strings. So the G, B, and E on the fifth fret, that's an A minor. And then you can play this G again right here. Another way you can do it is to play it like this. So what I've got is my index finger on the fifth fret of the D string, my ring finger on the seventh fret, of the G string, and then my pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. What that does is it just adds a note below. So you could play it this way, or you can play it this way. Both of them are a G sort of shape. One just adds a lower note, so it sounds just a little fatter. I like this shape a lot. So that's your G. And then to play an E minor, you uh, basically it's this A minor bar chord shape right here. That's the E minor. Um, so you're barring across the uh, seventh fret and then you're playing an A minor underneath it on the, the um, ninth and eighth frets. But really all you need is the top of it. So you can play, you can put your uh, ring finger on the ninth fret of the G string, middle finger on the eighth fret of the B and index finger on the seventh fret of the E, or you can play it like that, right? But that's basically your E minor, like a top half of an E minor. Okay, so when you put those all together, you play this up here, and the same way we played this G chord, this alternate shape, you can play it up here too. Okay, both of those are G uh, shape, or sorry, C, uh, shape, so here's your C, A minor, to G, to E minor, C. These are really useful shapes to learn. Okay, so that's like playing rhythm parts, but on a different place on the fretboard. So it just gives it all a different voice. And if you're new to these shapes, um, I would suggest just practice them over and over and over. And eventually they'll become as natural to you uh, to play as these. This is the same progression, right? Okay. So, uh, tone-wise, when you get to that big section, um, basically it's just all the drive and uh, big reverb and big delay. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. It's not much different for me than the, uh, the bridge, the big bridge lead part that we did, but now you're just playing rhythm parts. So it sounds like this with all the stuff on. Two, three, four. <laughs> So the last thing you're gonna do is play that bridge uh, or the instrumental lead part again, but higher up on the neck. So remember the first time through we went. Now we're gonna play it here. And if you wanna think, the easy way to, round, to play this is think about this G shape that we've been talking about for most of this video now. Uh, again, seventh and eighth frets on the G, B, and E string. Um, this is really just part of a minor pentatonic scale. 
Okay, that's all you're doing is just walking up the scale. So you start on the eighth fret of the B string to 10th to the seventh fret of the E string to the 10th of the E. That's it. And then on the last part, you go to the 12th fret of the E, to the 10th, to the 7th, to the 10th of the B, and then back to the uh, eighth. So I'll play it really slow so you can see exactly how it goes. Two, three, four. I typically, for tone on this section, I kind of stay uh, with the same tone because this is coming out of that big, big chorus. And actually, if you play those shapes, you end on this E minor shape right here, your finger is already there. So it just makes it really easy to transition to it. Firm foundation, I will build my life right. That's how it goes. So um, that's another reason why, I, I, I imagine that might be why uh, they, they play it there on the neck. Um, so you're right in position to play that lead part, okay? So the, again, I'm gonna show you how you transition to it. Uh, you're on that E minor firm, foundation. Okay, and with all of the, uh, the, the, we talked about the tone for this section earlier, so with everything on, it sounds like this. I'll play again, I'll do the rhythm into the lead. So there at the end, what I did was I just went down to an open C. That's where the song ends. Um, one thing you might have noticed that I did, I did like a slide into it. That's an artistic choice. Uh, you can do that if you want. If you're kind of new to playing electric parts or lead parts, uh, don't try that because you have to be accurate <laughs> unless you want to give it try it when you practice But make sure you can nail it uh, Every time if you're gonna do it live because what you don't want to do is do like Oh No, where am I and then and then especially when you're just getting started in this kind of thing if you get off on the first one It's really hard to find your way uh, back um, So make make it easy on yourself and just stay here But if you want to add a little something something you can slide into it if you want. Again, links below to uh, see all of the resources and patches and everything we have available for this song. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We got lots more videos like this one coming, covering all kinds of stuff from gear to worship leading, electric guitar stuff, uh, acoustic guitar stuff. We'll see you in the next one.